What are you doing, honey? We're uh, cutting this lid off of this container that I got down at work. <laughs> Welcome to the Vista Acres Homestead Channel. We're trying to get this done before the rain starts. At this rate, I don't think it's going to happen.
stuff. Yes, it is. It, that stuff wow. Is, that's crazy. You can't really say it's aggressive because it took it years to get that big, but it that is, up. uh, yeah. yeah. You need to get a backhoe in here and dig out. Get it down to one little spot. Yeah. So we've never kept it, and Mamaw never kept it contained. She'd yeah, always she just, did. she oh, burned man. it down every year. She had me out here with a mattock going around a circle around oh, the dig. Oh, did she? was a little boy. Yeah. I wish. She'd always say that. She'd say, go stay on top of that stuff, it'll get out of hand. It's beautiful though. If you can keep it contained and uh, you know it's it's beautiful. All right. Didn't we talk about putting getting some sand to go in this part top part for the asparagus? It seems to like like a sandy soil. This is a sandy soil. But that uh, stuff that you dug down into, now that's uh, clay. Somebody must have put some soil, either, I don't know, you know, we've been gardening in it, and it might be reason it ain't doing quite as good. It does pretty good when it does. Uh-huh. We get rain. Yeah, we probably should have put that the on bugs, the bottom. Keep the dang bugs from eating it up. Now, that's uh, poop right there. I hope it don't burn them up, but I, I, we're going to put a lot of uh, stuff on the top of it, so. Yeah, I should have uh -huh. left forks on there, because I've got to go over there and, uh, should just let that bush hog on that stuff. Yeah. They put some oil on that thing. Pen things. It has to be a better way of doing it. Hey. Right, uh, you want to put some of the peat moss? Yeah, right here it is. I don't know that we shouldn't use about all of it. We'll see because I don't want it all peat moss. We can put some of it. Got water in it, hasn't it? Huh? Got water in it? Yeah, Don't hurt yourself. Just, uh. Oh, yeah, lift it with the tractor. Good looking stuff, isn't it? Uh, Good looking stuff. Yes. Get a few bags of that. Uh, Is that a big root right there underneath your hand? For that stuff? No, I mean, it just don't dig your hands in it. It's got a lot of poop and stuff where I've been. That's where I was going to do my compost pile. You know, one of those would. Well, no, you can't. Well, you can't. Metal. Oh, we use metal stuff now. Oh, really? It might be a good composter. Well, no, it needs to breathe. This one's got holes yeah, in the bottom of it. Yeah, it's got holes like that. It originally had one of those plastic totes in it, and it's gone. It's just a metal cage. Oh, okay. Whatever I use. Here's your shovel, if that's what you're looking for. No, I don't have my glasses on. I'm trying to not wear them no more.
probably got it. Well, it's a bad watch the Tiller video the other day. Appreciate you watching it. Uh, they made a comment on the old Tiller video we did. They probably knew more about it than we did. Oh, he did. Yeah, he knew a lot more about it. Whatever who it was that commented, he knew a lot more about it than I did. What we want to do go get the rest of them bags of that miracle growth stuff and put it in here now? There's some right there behind you. It in between. Well, yeah. Obviously, they are. You think that other bag of peat moss could go in there or just put the dirt in there? Probably just put the dirt in there, right? The good thing about this toad is it has a lot of drain holes, so that way, you know, I'll have to just keep it good and watered in the summertime. But uh, David's going to put me a a hydrant down here that blue that there, blue too. hose right there uh that's going to be water down here so i can water everything and what honey blue cow black, black cow, cow oh there. yeah put all that in there we'll have it good and all mixed up <laughs> uh. we'll have it good and all mixed up it's either going to do good or it's either going to do bad right but you know that's that's the way we learn trial and error. I've grew asparagus before. I know it takes a long time for asparagus to produce, and I've grew it before, and we've we've had pretty good luck. At it. You know, not the best. Here in the tub already. You gonna we do. It? Yes, it's uh, over there. And I got seeds. I've, now I've had really good luck with the seeds. I say it takes uh, what? Two years, three years? Yes. It takes about three years for it to, two to three years for it to uh, mature to where you can get a lot, enough to eat. And uh, so I'd always keep mine cut back and we'd, we'd eat it, but never got a whole, whole lot. Back black cow needed to be used. It's been sitting down there a long, long time. Well, it's too bad for mulch sitting there, but it's, I think I take those pine shavings uh -huh. that we put on the in the pens. I believe I put them on there. You know, I might take those pine needles. I wonder if they like pine needles. I need to read I up on the that. Same thing for like pine pine shavings. Shavings sometimes has those big bark in it, though. You can probably grind it up like you did the. Alright, look at it. So, you want me to go get a couple more bags of that top, that uh, Miracle Grow to go in it? I believe I would. Reason being is it's going to settle some. Um, and then we can kind of mix it in there with that. Well, we need to go get one of the tellers. And the... I don't think they're about $100. I got to go pay that Lowe's. Oh, to go on the end of your. Yeah. We need one. How many uh, things of dirt do you want? Probably up to the top of the thing there. Uh, we want to cover this up with a tarp, but we're going to let it just rain on it. I think it'd be best just rain on it. Let it rain it through, don't you? I guess. I don't know. Mama up. I think Mama was wanting breakfast. She is. She's already called. She's getting a shower and she wanted us to know she's in the shower. Cat sprayed all over this stuff. Cat has. Remember, we got cats coming around here. We do. I seen it the other day and before I let the cats out underneath your uh, white thing. Your suburban. Well, these guineas don't run it off. They don't want nothing around here. 
We had a chicken the other day get out, old gray beard. All right, so I threw him out. And uh, boy, the guineas, they was all over him. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he was in a rare form, wasn't he? Yeah, he right was. There that day. He got me twice that day. You'll see the after effects in the video after David threw him out. Maggie wasn't very happy with him. He, she was uh Well, that was after we threw him out. He came after me. She loves aggravating, but we really have to watch. She grabs him by the neck and slings him. And, of course, that's all she wrote. What happened to his brother? Which he's so mean. I don't... I don't know if I would feel she did it or not. I just process it. Right. She's so old. I don't know if she could, could be good to eat. Might be good for, yeah. Might be good for uh, broth. Uh, Angie can put this last bag in, but I don't know. I think that's good. Yeah, I do too. We'll just keep this bag for the other one. You know, that looks like it's kind of sandy. It's uh, all-purpose soil, so it should be. Lowe's put this on sale when I was working there. And I bought a, three pallets of it. It was a good deal, good sale. It I, was. Just, I just went ahead and bought three pallets of it. Plus, too, I got my discount, my employee discount. So that was good. Tell you what, y'all. It's pretty soil. As I always say, I don't have anything bad to say about Lowe's. It was a great place to work. And the benefits, Lowe's uh, benefits, I put them up with anybody in the country's benefits. They got great, great benefits. Really, really good company, y'all. Hate I was it, the age I was when I started with them. Wish I'd started with them as a young man. And I uh, worked my way up. Been, been very been been very financially good, I can tell you that. Alright. That looks good, Angie. I think it looks real good. Not too bad. Huh? Not too bad. Alright, that gets that, y'all. Okay, y'all. What we're doing, we, we bought these asparagus at Tractor Supply, not a sponsor. Uh, and uh, we're taking them out of the bags and we're gonna soak them for 24 hours before we put them in that raised bed that y'all saw us working on. Uh, that, Angie's gonna make that the uh, asparagus bed. That's what that's gonna be. Maggie is right now trying to keep the cat from coming in. Yeah. If you hear something in the background, she's pouncing on the door. Yeah. She's trying to keep the old kitty cat from coming in. She don't like the kitty cat. All right. So, take the rubber band off. These are really good looking, y'all. And these are Mary Washington brand type. And uh, they do look good. I'm keeping the uh, sprouts. Is that correct, Angie? Up here on the yeah. top. We're not putting those, we're not submerging those in the water. Yeah. We are going to go buy us one of those tillers. Yeah, I know. I need another tiller, don't I, Angie? I don't have a lot of tillers. Yeah. yeah. We collect them. I'm going to go buy another one of those that goes on that uh, Ego Works. Again, not a sponsor. Uh, and uh, that way we can till that bed a little bit, right, Angie? Mix mm -hmm. it up a little better. Been wanting one of those for a while, but I think we've come to the point that we need it. Okay, <laughs> now I'll see it. Let me get you another bucket. Yeah, we're we'll probably gonna need another bucket. We got how many more? We got two more bags of these. Probably get all. Oh, you got three of them buckets, don't you? Yeah, I would. I'd probably put this purple, separate it out. This is purple, uh, purple passion asparagus. And uh, Angie tells me that when you cook it, it turns as green as the other. 
I guess it's just kind of a decorative now, thing. That's what I was told. I don't know because Zoe hadn't. Oh, known. okay. Now she was told that. Now we know. And I'm, of course, I don't know if it's reliable source or not. We'll just say it. We'll find out. Maggie, tell you. Maggie, you ready to go eat breakfast? You ready to go eat breakfast, Maggie? This is not breakfast, Maggie. You can't sit up at this table, can you? She's a pup. She used to have to throw her feet on the table, which we got onto her about. Now she's got big enough she can just sit down and look at the table like somebody else. Yeah. Just don't turn her back. Yeah, don't turn her back. She will. She's pretty good, though. Yeah, no, she don't. She, she, she knows you got to, before she was to get a table scrap, and I know you're not supposed to feed them table scraps, but we do. And uh, I can tell you, Maggie gets enough exercise. Anybody what has watched the videos know Maggie gets plenty of exercise. <clears throat> she probably puts, when we do the chores, she probably runs 10 miles around coops. Crazy Maggie. All right, there's enough room. That gets all of them done. Yeah. I just get the purple ones in there. It don't matter to me. Well, it gives some color in your little garden there, huh? Yeah. Y'all, Angie's hand. <laughs> oh, that looks puny. And I think there's only three of those, so those must be a more expensive. I mean, the same price, so you get less. Yeah. Must be well, we'll know which these are, won't we? Mm-hmm. No worry of getting them mixed up. Now, these are going under the waters. that going to matter. I don't really want them to go into the water, but that'll probably be all right. I mean, you're just soaking them. You're not going to plant them like that. How long are we going to soak them, Angie? Uh, I mean, we probably could get to them this afternoon if we, uh... If it ain't raining. Mm-hmm. We're not watching TV. No. Got to edit today. It's supposed to be a rainy, rainy day, so we're going to do a little bit of editing. I'm going to try to teach Angie a little more. She's going to watch. and uh, So, y'all... Yeah. That kind of wraps this part of it up, the soaking them. So we'll hopefully get those in there. All right, y'all digging a trench. Put these roots in. It's look like I got way too many. And what we do, just lay the roots out like so. Yes, six to eight inches apart. Spread them out. I do the head six to eight inches apart, right? Yeah. We got way too many. Can't get too many. Go back the other way with the trench. Okay. Right, so now cover them up. I wouldn't cover them yet because um, I gotta do some of that dirt dig my other trench. I'll just try to see if you can dig down through the middle of it, honey. Oh gosh, that smell. <sighs> I was surprised you had found this. Yeah, that's probably going to put something over top of it. They probably have found it. I think you can come over a little bit closer and get this side, can't you? Get, try to get about three rows, you think? I'm not telling you how to do it or nothing. No. No. <laughs> Chunk of coal. Maggie, leave the cattle on. Stop. Too much dirt. This thing. Put it in the the thing over there. Are uh, your windows slamming? Yes, they are. Oh, good. 
And he sent it out on a list of what all we want to order. And potatoes and stuff. Y'all see what Maggie's doing? Poor Taylor. Maggie. Leave Taylor alone. It's real good. Is that one root right there? That big one? This one? Yeah. yeah that's one root. Wow. A good looking root, isn't it? Yeah, we got way too many. I need to get this dirt out, don't I? I put it on this row over here and then keep that one so you'll know about how far apart. One, two, three, I think you can actually put them a little bit closer together than that. Four, I'd make it work. I'd say you could put another one right there and another one right there. Right here. Yeah. Go over just a little bit more towards that lip, smaller one. Yeah, right there. I think the asparagus comes off the roots, so that'll keep them in a good row. And there's probably one or two you could put right there. Right here. No, that's that purple. Okay. I don't think it matters really to you. Here. I cover them up completely because we may not be through with it. Um, what? Yeah. Then we'll get some uh, hay to put over them. Straw. Straw, I mean. Or pine shade. This straw would do better. <coughs> We're going to put another row right here. Yes. You make him put two rows. Do you have enough to do two rows? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, you want to do one right here? Yeah. The biggest thing is not doing them too deep, right? I don't know. It costs it lots them pretty deep. Okay, guineas. Not, they're, they're pretty social birds, I have to say that, because anytime we're out doing something, it ain't long until they're right in the middle of what we're doing. That's because they're hungry. I want you to throw them some food. But there's not enough bugs to feed us. We need food. Man, you're hurting him. Stop. Poor Taylor, he sure takes a lot. Really, they all do. There so they go. is one of the best foods for you. I must see a bug. I can see one that far away. I got some awesome I reckon I saw. Crazy. 
Got them covered up on this side. Yeah, I covered them up pretty good. I mean, I don't know if we'll get another freeze or not, but we... Look all the cooler weather after this rain. I'm going to put one and sew them right down through here, I guess. I would, yeah. I'd leave some dirt on that side. I'm going to pull that back in. Tell you what, these things got good roots to them. They do. I think I'd pull those over some and cross the roots if you had to. Yep, like that. Yeah, that'd probably work. Oh. Ain't gonna get no chickens. You know, I bet that's where the guineas went. They probably seen him. Look at that, he's flying right there. You see him? Yeah, he's flying that whole area. I bet they seen him. They got sharp eyes. And they see one. They'll usually go up under bushes or trees or... Now, the only if, thing is, is they are so big, he can't swoop and lift one of them up. Well, so yeah. he's going to be on the ground. If he's on the ground for just a second, those guineas got him. The guineas got him. He's, he's. Yeah. The reason the chickens, the roosters around here for a long time, they didn't have no tail feathers. That's why the old red ones there don't have no tail feathers. All right, let me go with some. Yeah, they're hauling. That's same. Yep, they see him. Yeah, they They're see. warning each other. Well, I must be feeling good. I think he's going a lot better. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, clean, yeah. Yeah, clean yep, I hear the blower going. She likes her little blower. Uh, well, that's good, honey. And then yep. when it rains, it'll flatten it down a little bit more, and then. All right, y'all. Yeah. That completes the asparagus, which is a superfood, and. Uh, it gets that done, y'all. And again, we appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Uh, that's what helps the channel. Thank you again, and thank you for watching.